In this training video, we're going to look at conditional formatting formulas using standard functions in this example. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to compare the all the different production of apples and pears for each of these countries against a 5% total of the chili production. So chili is by far the greatest production. So what we're trying to say, if something is greater than 5%, we're saying that's going to be fine. If it's less than 5% of the chili average, we want that to be red. So we're only going to focus on the red of any of these production figures, which are not, which are less than 5% of the average of chili. And we're going to change all the country names red, if that's the case. So if I'm going to click on, I'll start off with Argentina to set the formatting for Argentina. I'm going to go to the conditional formatting. New rule, formula, and I'm asking the question, is the average of the Argentina production of apples and pears? So I'm going to say at equals average of the Argentina production, which is the C6 across to I6, is that area less than the average of chili, so that's the average of chili, which is the row nine area, multiplied by 5%. I'm gonna put a bracket around the average function, which is times by 5%. And now I'm going to sort out the dollars. So I don't want any dollars around the average for Argentina because I want that to be copied to all the rest of the countries. But I do want the dollars around the C9 to J9 for Chile because I want all the different countries to be compared against Chile. So to compare them against Chile, the Chile production figures must be held in place. So I'm going to take the dollars away from the Argentina production figures. And now all I have to do is set the formatting. So the formatting is going to be red bold text, if that's the case. So if anyone is less than 5% of Chile, I want them to go red bold and red bold. And we'll, we'll actually have red cell with white and bold. We'll, we'll, we'll have the whole cell red and we'll add bold to the, the white right in. So I'm gonna format that with fill I'm going to go for red and font. I'm going to go for the standard, but I want it to come out bold. Click OK. And I can now click OK to see the result. This should, so cell B6 should go red in the cell. Now I want to copy this result to all the countries now to check which ones are less than 5% of chili so i'm now going to use my format painter copy the formatting results down to all the rest of the countries and very cleverly it now applies all the formatting for countries which are less than five percent of the chili average so we can just check one or two so here's the five percent of the chili average there's the calculation so if i wanted the average of for example Australia, I can click equals average and I'll just come across there for the average. If I want to, I can just copy them down just to check them. So I'll just copy from this point down so I can see that's less than 5%. If I just copy these down. We can then see why some of them are going green. So for example, India is red because it's less than this figure here. Turkey is green because it's greater than this figure here. So is America. So we can see the check is working fine. I'll delete these figures now. If 
But this now shows how conditional formatting formulas can be applied to text and with the format painter, the formatting can be copied. And this was a formula against cell B6 using an average function to compare production levels against different countries. But this completes the training video for conditional formatting formulas. In this example, using a standard function, which we've now looked at the average function in this particular example. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.